our next question is in the given figure ab parallel to fd so this ab is parallel to fd and ac is parallel to ze so this ac is parallel to ze okay and bd is equal to ce and bd this much length is equal to ce okay so prove that first one is bz is equal to df so b z is equal to df and cf is equal to ed so we need to prove these two are equal and these two are equal so after seeing that picture we come to know that there are some similar pictures are there and there, there must be a congruency between two triangles so first get the triangles so by seeing precisely you will come to know that triangle bge and triangle cfd are seems to be congruent for me even if you see with bare, bare eyes you can come to know that those two are the uh, figures which are similar so from that we need to prove whether they are congruent or not so i am specifying this de as x because that length is seems to be common for those two from that from those two triangles so i'll consider dc what is dc dc is equal to bd be i'm considering those two whether they are equal or not just i want to prove so dc can be written as x plus ec and be can be written as x plus bd be can be written as x plus bd dc can be written as x plus ec so if you cancel x on both sides what you will have ec is equal to bd that's what the given condition bd is equal to ec so from this we can easily say dc is equal to be so dc is equal to be so so one property we got that is side property and one more since ab and df are parallel ab and fd are parallel the if you consider bc as a transverse line for those two properties those two parallel lines for like this so this corresponding uh, angles are equal or these two are equal this corresponding angles are equal so here also this is same as this consider the angle angle gbe from this triangle from gbe triangle is equal to angle fdc for this triangle because these two are equal these two are equal angles like that it is given that fc is parallel to ze so here also the same rule applies so that this angle at c and e are same i'll give the angles name that is angle fcd is equal to angle zeb fcd is equal to zeb these two angles are equal so we have side angle and angle properties equalities for the given triangles so from this we can easily say that these two triangles are congruent so when those two are congruent the respect to sides of equalities will also be same or respect to angles also will be same so here the respect to sides we'll just compare the respect to sides for those two since these two are equal the adjacent sides for those two like uh, z b is equal to df that's what the first condition we need to prove now come to these two angles which is e and c here so those two are equal they respect to sides respect to adjacent sides fc and g are equal fc is equal to z okay that's what we need to prove as a second condition so from the given congruency we can prove the given things like this the major part is the parallel lines and transverse line uh, on that uh, whatever the equal angles are there just i have mentioned here so based on this we can prove the congruency from that congruency we can prove the given relations